So there are a lot of, there's a lot of anxiety inducing things about studying for the MCAT. It's not just like, oh my God, there's a huge exam and it's eight hours long, yikes. But it's also like, when you're studying for the MCAT, other people are studying too. Um, what if, you know, people are doing better than you? That's a super scary thing. Um, and there's also a lot of guilt around it. Like, did I study enough in a day? Oh no, I didn't do as well on my QBank set as possible. And these are all very valid things. I felt them all the time when I was studying. The biggest thing to recognize is that everybody is going to be at their own pace when studying. And I know this is what everybody says, okay? But trust me, trust me. Don't be nervous if your path is going to be a little bit different for from other people. We are all on our own journey. And the important part is that you take the MCAT and you go to med school. Another thing specifically with study anxiety, I find that having a good work-life balance aside of studying helps me, helps my brain, brain kind of get out of like the MCAT is the entire life type of mindset. When you finish studying for the day, you play volleyball with your friends, things that make you happy can really get you outside of the mindset of I need to study all the time. And it also helps with balance because I think a lot of the times when we're studying for the MCAT, we tend to get sucked into the lifestyle of studying for the MCAT and it really takes over our lives. This is really difficult. Um, so making sure that you're having other hobbies, other things to do is incredibly important.